Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciate that. Appreciate it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while I have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit all so you know when I'm about to upload my next videos. And um, and if you feel like um, the videos that you can really resonate with, my, my cat meow and just really threw me off. It's like, uh... Any of the videos that you resonate with, you know, and you feel co comfortable enough to, go ahead and drop me a line. Let me know where you're watching it from if you're feeling comfortable to be able to share that. And give a thumbs up and share would be greatly appreciated. And if you're going through to get to some certain things, the different things that you don't speak on, that you only pray to God about, and you want to achieve, heal, or excel over, or just be in alignment for, I'm sitting at that whatever you're needing towards you a million times fold. Anybody who's coming in with deceptive as, you know, energy or nefarious energy, I'm just not going to do it today. I, I, I just can't. I just don't. Um, so whatever you're intending for me or the collective is not, nobody's not claiming that. It's being rebuked and returned to sender 10 million times fold. Um, and the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. This is the reason why all hell is breaking loose in your what surrounds you. You know, when you, you know, a lot of times you can be praying for somebody, pray for somebody's healing, pray for somebody's peace. You know, you hate seeing them suffer and stuff like that, or you're just tired of, you know, the different things that they may be putting you through, or how, you know, it can affect the money, affect the family, affect, you just, it's just infectious. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, it tends to get worse. And a lot of times that's when um, God is really putting a hold on certain things um, in the life. Because it's like, you know, different things in people's life, you know, where they're not ready to heal. Or they don't feel like they're healed. Uh, they need any healing. They know it, enough of what they need to know. They're just in resistance of wanting change to take place into the life that... Um, they place resistance to it you know there'll be so many different things that you're facing that you've already faced or you know could be heading right dead into is a part of growth this is part of life lessons that's what's really going on now just to test your faith your belief um are what what kind of intentions are you moving uh to be able to move forward are you doing these things for your purpose are you doing them for self gratification selfishness greed ego pride you know all of these different things is is you know testing you just to see if you have grown you know um being able to see you walking in a path of you know what god sees as you you know he sees your potential he sees your power your magic your strength whatever he his you know bestowed upon you he sees it so he wants you to be able to move like that talk like that act like that see like that manifest like that you know all that you know and these will be certain things you had to be able to go through and you know when you start standing on your truth you loving you're adding more love towards you you know towards you more um there's a lot of people that have uh been triggered into solitude or isolation as they call it but it's initial hermit mode to solitude you know um you're allowing yourself to use your time sparingly like you're not wasting your time thinking about different things that is just out of your control you know there'll be just certain things and it's like and it's tough it'll drain you a lot but it'll be those are the type of things like you're like dad why am i so tired if you know you are trying to unlearn a certain way in your life you know and you're trying to learn a whole new thing where you're moving organically authentically trans you know you're heavy in transparency you know uh not allowing yourself to dim your light you know standing on your truth standing your ground keeping your boundaries up uh being silent about a lot of things you know choosing your battles wisely all these different things and it's like all hell is breaking loose you know a lot of times it can feel like you know uh, God said I passed the test or I'm finished and stuff like that. Why is these th different things taking place in my life? Everything connects. 
Okay, that's all I can say. You know, the universe, like, don't say no further than that. Everything connects. Everything that is going on in your life is going to take you through to get you to. Okay, and that's all I can say about that situation. You know, you, you allow yourself now instead of seeing when you, you know, and I, I congratulate anybody to see that now when it's like a challenge. You, you're no longer seeing it as a challenge. It's an opportunity to prove to yourself how much you have grown. You know, how much you have healed, how much you are forgiving. Even when people have not gave you that acknowledgement or that gratitude just to say you know what you, you were there for me when no other person was you believed in me when no other person did you were willing to tell me the truth or seeing when I was holding back on myself or not being authentic or real enough or doing stuff I wasn't supposed to do and you called me out for it that's what people do when they care you know anybody who influenced you to be more toxic and more chaotic they don't care about you they just want to see let me see if they dumb enough to go ahead and do it because you know that's what they're familiar to if i tell them something good are they gonna go for it you know it'll be different things is you know it's taking place like that where you have a deeper understanding of why you went through what you went through you know what was taking place in your life that was really necessary like this is unnecessary roughness i think i said that in a video before um where it's just like all these crazy downloads is coming to me and it's just you know you're allowing yourself to be in your peace even when it's hard to be in that but you're practicing oneness i'm staying present you know i'm allowing myself don't take anything personal you got to keep reminding yourself don't take stuff personal you know, it, it's just misery loves company. You know, when people just going out their way and just seeing you happy and they want to rain on your day, a lot of people are just like that because they're like that. They want they want other people to feel that way. But I feel like it's a choice if you want to feel that way. I know there's a lot of things that's going on in your life that it just, it just feel like, you know, life is not like with you. Life is not agreeing with you. Trust me, I, I have those days a lot. And it is, I allow myself to go through it gracefully. You know, even when I be feeling like I want to say something smart so bad, and I'm just like, you saying something smart, where is that going to do for you? You know, you may feel that way, but don't, don't, you know, don't add fuel to the fire. You already, you know, don't, don't add, don't accelerate, you know, what those things are. Those are just negative thoughts. That's your pride. That's your ego. You know, especially when you are allowing yourself to go forward. You're not being scared about what's in the unknown, what's in the foreign to you. You're going, you know, because where you stay comfortable in, and there'll be a lot of things that is so chaotic, so ugh, diabolical, you know. And I mean, it'll just be like, man, look, I like my life to be simple. I like to be adventurous, but I, I, I don't thrive for drama. I don't thrive for all the cussing and fussing and all that stuff. That stuff is a headache to me. You know, I like to you know move away from confrontation it'll be just those things it'll be one of those days where okay i'm gonna respond but i'm not gonna react and if i respond it's gonna be something i feel like it's worth saying and say what i say and mean what i say and stand by it and just keep it moving you know i'm not going to be combative with somebody when i already see that's what they're looking for i'm just not gonna allow myself to keep doing that and it's just like when you start feeling that it is just like certain things uh, can't be avoided may be people you're living with this may be people you're working with you know I, I had to be like that because I said as long as you paying me I don't care if the whole whole you know building hated me and I had to go through that I'm like you still paying me right I'm out here just for you know being here you, you still paying me right yeah okay you know and I was okay being by myself I said shoot I had my movies I had my music I had my headphones and I was just in my vibe and that's how I felt and then, thank God I was just like before I end up catching a case then going purse postal I went ahead and got me some you know, I went ahead, went ahead and went to my doctor and got that baby I, you couldn't mess with me and I was just happy I said guess what I'm on da -da 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 -da. and it's just like it's a fuck it all it's just like you ain't caring about what's going on around you and that really just amped shit up because they were really mad like we need to affect her you know i had to go through different things of that you know where i like my life being peaceful i like 
where everybody can be happy for everybody. Nobody's, everybody's in competition with their former selves. You know, it's no competition, no comparison. Everybody being on that thing where either we can agree to disagree, but that's not going to change how we feel about each other. We're not going to take it personal. You know, this person has the boundary up and you want them to respect that just like you have your boundaries up. You know, and they respect that. That lets you know, okay, this ain't that person like not do as I say. Don't do as I do, but do as I say type vibration because you're not you're not functioning on that. You know, a lot of things that, you know, you were tolerating or you allow things to slide or, you, you know, you allow yourself to be a doormat. You know, a hitting bag, and I'm not talking about just always in the physical, but it can really be just beating you up emotionally, psychologically, where a lot of times when stuff is programmed to you like that, you start moving that way. Oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not adapted to love, or I don't need prosperity in my life. You know, life ain't going to really get nowhere. This is what people programmed you to feel. Because they knew, probably knew more than what you did of how prosperous your your you know your future was but they wanted to convince you that nothing can be able not if they have any control over it and when you got out of that mindset saying i control you know i, I this is something i can control where i decide where my path goes in life god has a purpose for me god got a purpose for you god got a purpose for the enemy god got a purpose for the devil everything is like that but when you started changing your mindset on how you seen your path your future your purpose like you ain't heavy in you know focusing on the future because when you do that it's like you trying to control stuff if you know you, you like you put it out to the universe i want to be prosperous i want to be successful you know i want to do things that's going to bring purpose to not just my life but other people it will create help them create uh, entrepreneurship or you know help them link into you know better opportunities for themselves you know helping them heal from different things that have been keeping them stagnant or holding back from like life of how it can truly be for them you know different things like that when you know you're moving in a direction that's not just going to you know it's going to have a ripple effect like whatever you're doing this is what the public needs to see this is what people that feel lost need to see this is where people that's wanting to you know get out of that mindset of where they're lacking and you know they always feel like they don't have enough even when they they you, you know they're okay you know um it'll be different things like that you start changing your mindset you start being quiet about the moves you made you allowed yourself to see different things that was purposely put in your path just to have you unhinged, have you pissed off, have you all up in your feelings or overthinking things or make you want to second guess, you know, choosing yourself was the wrong thing. When you allowed yourself to stay focused on what you, what you what's important to you and what you're trying to bring to your life, you, you didn't allow what other people were doing to, you know, ruin your day. You know, allow yourself the best revenge you can do for when people are hating on you or wish the worst on you. Continue to be happy. Continue to keep doing the work. No, any kind of way, God's going to make a way for you. As long as when you see, like, no matter what, like, if it's in my control, I'm going to do what I got to do to make my life better. I'm only control about what I do. You know, that that's it. I don't have control over destiny. I don't have control over fate. You know, because it's all about the choices I'm making. Am I moving in, you know, good intentions? Am I seeing my life could be better? Am I allowing myself to, you know, breathe in and breathe out success? Not, you know, failure. You know, not losses. Even if I have to go through a loss, there may have been something that was, you know, it's rerouting me for better. You know, failure is when you allow yourself to give up. And there's a lot of times you're wanting to give up because, you know, situations become unbearable. And it make you feel like you're not going to ever get out of that situation. You're never going to see anything good come out of your life, even though you worked hard for it. You know, if that's the mindset you got, yeah. Your reality, what you believe into your life and what you breathe into it, what you take out of it, how you speak up on it, how you speak up on other people, it, that, that, you know, that directs you for whatever your frequency is on you know, even my cat had to sit up here and agree with that. Do <laughs> you know? And you're you're just going through these different things to 
you know, you're, you're changing the mindset, you're changing how you speak to yourself, how you see the world. You, I mean, even you're starting to notice the changes that are going on. And, it, you know, a lot of times we're in circumstances where your patience is really tried. Like, wait a minute, what? I'm going to have to sit here and deal with what? I'm going to have to. No, nah, uh-uh, mm-mm. Uh -uh. You know, and you don't want to deal with that, but you don't realize what you're facing on a daily basis is creating a higher source for you. It's helping you know yourself on a whole different level. You're becoming your best friend in every single way. Because when you, it's just like when you feel like you've been manipulated to be in hiding or being kept a secret or, you know, being isolated and things is blocked. This is getting you to know yourself on a totally different level. Different things that you really don't like about yourself no more. But it's just the fact is you got to show love to the bad part of you as well as the good part of you because that's you. You have to, you can't neglect that dark side and cover it up and, you know, make it decorated at decor, at pizzazz, Gucci, whatever. You can't, you can't do that because it is always going to overflow into that pain until you allow yourself to address it, until you allow yourself to heal from these different things. And when you allow yourself to have that pain of, of power where you being persistent and not having pain of power, but... You're allowing that pain turn into power when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what, this has been holding me back for too long. I've been using that same excuse on the reason why I'm mad or the reason why I, I won't forgive or the reason why I won't let go. And it's just like, who you lying to? I mean, even if you lying to other people, the biggest thing is you're lying to yourself. You know, either there's different things that you, you know, you feel like you need to say or certain things you don't need to speak up for. Now, it's different when you know you run a game or, you know, you're trying to do this or try to do that. But it, there'll be just certain things you don't need to speak on because it's not everybody's business about where your purpose is heading you towards. You know, that's why I say I'll be very selective about what I talk about. The different things that I done had to struggle to overcome. Unless I know I'm in that solid position where I believe it. And there ain't nothing nobody can do to, you know, have me backpedal and make me want to feel like you're going to humble me. No, I'm humble regardless. You know, I, I don't forget where I came from. And I know I'm doing everything to where I, where I want to be. Hold on, y'all. My, my cat want to get out. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back, y'all. But, you know, you're going through different things to get through things. You're allowing yourself to appreciate every section of your life, every breathe of moment. You know, even when it's, it, it's, it just feels like, you know, I'm tired of people messing with me. I'm tired of people trying to trigger me. Yeah, they know that. They don't say you think they're attacking you because you're weak. No, they're attacking you because you're strong. You know, and when you allow yourself to keep breathing in that, there's a lot of times you got to keep, you know, psyching yourself out. You know, your mind only believes what you want it to believe. You know, you got to remind yourself, this is only temporary. Your life is only temporary like that. When you believe in yourself, don't matter who's going against you, what folks are doing. When you are so focused on what you're trying to create within your life, you ain't going to have time. You, I mean, you're staying productive. Even if it's just you doing the mind work, people are like, I ain't doing nothing. Mentally, I may be not doing nothing physically, and I may be, you know, you know, in in stationary mode. But that mind is on the work of, I mean, it is just going through the Olympics right now. Clearing, letting go, cutting ties, allowing myself to believe you know what is truly the truth allow you to see things exactly how they are accept situations and people for how they are forgive and create peace for you this ain't peace for them this is peace for you you know knowing you moving in good intentions even when you know the truth and other people trying to mask that out is the illusion just leave it alone things that unfold exactly the way it's supposed to okay you live throughout your fears. Now other folks are starting to live out their fears. They want to, you know, add weight to that. Guess what? Theirs is adding weight to it. Do you see a lot of things that's on social media where you're starting to see where the tables turn? Because you started focusing on self. You stopped, you know, putting your power and your energy on situations that had nothing to do with you. Even when people were wanting to make it your personal thing. Like, let me mess around with that person because this person is healing they're in their peace they're happy they're laughing and you know we, we don't took everything away from them but it's just like but that's that person's choice to be miserable 
they know they don't want to be where they're at, but they're making life life for them. Let me make this life peaceful for me. You know, because God trying to see where your attitude is when you, I mean, when things is just really going bad. That's where your belief and faith comes in and your confidence. You know, when you start going through that and just like, God, you know, even though you may not have brought something to me physically or financially, but you, you don't instill something to me metaphysically, you know, psychologically, emotionally, mentally. I'm changing, you know, I'm changing this to create peace within me. You know, um, because I feel like if I keep continuing to stay mad and holding a grudge towards somebody, I'm doing exactly what I'm following suit. I wasn't here to follow nobody. I'm, I'm here to set new trends. This is what you do. This is what you, you know, this is how your mindset need to be. This is where you need to be disciplined at. This is where things you just need to let them flow and stop trying to control things. Get out your feelings. Stop taking stuff personal. Focus on the good, not the bad. Allow yourself to see the good in everything, even if it's goodbye and good riddance. You know, it'll be all those different things. But when you start being in that mindset and you allowing yourself to move that way, that's why all of a sudden you seeing everything. It's like where I, I've said that last week where I'm seeing people eating ice cream up on, you know, it looked like Missy from Can I Stand the Rain video when she's sitting up on that. I'm sitting on the hill like Lauren, you know, say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, it'd be one of those different things where you sitting up there chilling, eating your ice cream because, baby, you done made it. You done clear stuff out. You in peace. Even if things ain't really fully got into the f fruition. But, you you know, you in, you in motion. I forgot the word that you want. I don't even want to say gestation. I don't know. But, you know, it's like where the baby's starting to turn. You know, you starting to nurse yourself. You, you starting to do these changes. You don't know where it's leading you to, but it's guiding you to do that. Like I said, God is reminding you, you got to be able to control your emotions, whether or not you're around people or different things that you really don't want to do. This is where you're challenging yourself. This is where you went uncomfortability. I don't know if you heard that, that jingle from my cat. That's confirmation too. You know, where you're, you're, you're comfortable being in uncomfortability. That challenge is like a, a, a chance for an opportunity for you to create better for yourself, for you to see better for yourself, move better, speak better, think better. You know, all these different things is going on. And it's all going on because your mindset, what you took, what you put your power into and what you took it out of. What you stop pouring into and what you start pouring into self. This is all about rerouting you back to self. So anything that you're going through is 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 igniting something in you where it's gonna click, is it's gonna understand, it's gonna you know, you're gonna give a vibe and then you're gonna get gratitude to it, appreciation. You may be in a situation where you don't want to be grateful to God because you don't like the things he's taking you through. And I, I get that. I understand that because, believe me, I don't have my choice words. I had to go repent, say Hail Marys and other things that I don't even put myself into. But it was like I was in my feelings and I really spoke how I, had, how I felt. But then I had to rebuke and I had to, you know, repent, do all that different stuff. But God understands that because he's not putting you through anything easy. These are different things where people do not level up from. People crumble. People, I quit. I'm done. But even when you want it to, it's like, no, this is your destiny. This is your fate. This is your purpose. No matter how much you want to just punk out or, you know, just accept failure. And I ain't even trying to trigger nobody. But that I, this is how I felt about me. Let me give up. That's like a failure because you don't want to try. You you punk out because things got too hard for you. Challenge yourself. You know you a sore loser and you stubborn is all oh, get out. God loves a stubborn heart. God loves that, especially if you even like psychologically triggering you. Oh, I didn't birth out of punk. You gonna allow yourself, you don't went through weather many storms and you tripping off of a couple of raindrops. You're allowing that little bitty leakage just going around to affect you. I, no, uh-uh. I'm going to allow you to know what a real warrior is. Persistent means. It is. Optimism. You know, self-awareness, self-love, self-respect. Self, I mean, just you, you, it's not about you being selfish, but there are certain times you got to know when to be selfish with you. You know, is anybody adding to what 
your your you know what you're doing is, is is it going back and forth you know the people you wishing good luck for and hope they you know everything that they want in life comes you know into them and they praying to god that you don't even make it past you know get out the bed in the morning you know you got to think about these different things you're going through it and, and you're appreciating everything that's going on and it also makes you focus on the different people that believe in you see the potential in you the growth that's taking place you know how much you've changed for the better how it, it, even the choice the way you speak the different things that you attract or different things you're passionate about it switches up like oh my god because it's like I, I can't even sit up here and watch a steve wilco show a maury or or you know um jerry springer you know, or even the different things on World Star Hip Hop. I don't even know if World Star is still out. You know, I used to love stuff like that. And I'm trying to watch that mess for three minutes and I'm like, I can't. You know, I'm trying to heal from stuff like this. I ain't trying to open myself. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to judge, you know, because I said I've been there, done that. Let me not be trying to judge nobody because, hey, maybe your past ain't all that there going crystal clear you don't went through some stuff don't judge nobody else you know because they said differently than you you know everybody got to go through stuff some folks learn some folks don't you know it is what it is but you got to be focused on you what's important to you what brings value to you you know the people and the surroundings that uplift you just makes you want to keep going you know you getting i mean you finally get recognition even if you had to go on this vibe and be by yourself I had that mindset, I'm okay with being by myself because I never want to have any kind of connections, connections with anybody where I got to figure out where am I on, the, on your priority list, am I on your priority, are you in my life or are, are we connected because of my authenticity or what you feel like you can benefit off of, what you're trying to play into, what you're trying to weasel yourself into insert yourself into my life in some kind of deceptive way i never want to feel that way about anybody because i you know anybody i connect with and i stay in contact and i'm like if this is a, a friend of mine or this is you know me connected with my soul tribe god will let me know time will tell and just leave it at that you know because i was always quick to call people bestie and friend and they didn't know that was just an experience. That's a reality check. This was something that you were just supposed to be open to. Just so you can remember these different things that went on. The different things to look for. And stuff like that. So it's just like I, I be careful what I connect with. And what I claim. And what I open myself up to. And, you know I had to go through those those purposeful mistakes. You know a lot. Just for me to understand like no. Nah, we can't be doing this no more. But it's just all about the mindset. That's all about the mindset that is really just changing. And, you know, just like I did a video uh, recently, it's just like you know, you're not caring nobody else's burdens. You just, you know, you only being responsible for you. Now, if you got babies and stuff like that, that's a different story. You know, if you got grown, you know, you're praying for them. You know, you're, you know, even if they're not, you know, y'all stay connected or you're not, you're at odds. I still pray for my children. I pray for, you know, any success that they have in their life and they're, you know, and it, and it gets, you know, and it, and it multiplies, you know, whatever, anything that I know that can bring them growth and healing and peace. You know, I place that on my children, you know, even, you know, when we don't see eye to eye or even when they wish the worst on me, I still hold love. You know, it's just my choice if I weather, you know, if I weather that storm and something that I'm, you know, I was supposed to get wet in for a minute and walk out and dry off or allow myself to just marinate in that. You know, it's all about what you choose to, you know, hold on to, you know, be at peace. You know, even if it's something little like you went through a whole day without thinking about certain things that just really upset you or hurt you or drains you or detters you. You know any of those things when you can go through a whole day and say you know what I just noticed I have no kind of thoughts that just really put me in that vibe congratulate yourself you don't know, get you a slushy go listen to some music go get a massage go for a walk connect with somebody you can really trust that's really on that vibe with you you know just you know be happy for those tiny victories 
You know, as well as the big ones too. You out of you going through it to get to it and you trust in the process and that's not always easy to do, especially when you're dealing with situations that's making you want to run like hell, you know. But it is what it is. You're gonna get through this, you you know, you had to go through it so you can get to it, and you're gonna overcome this so much better than you can ever imagine. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video, y'all. Um anybody who want to feel uh, generous enough to drop a donation the cash app is there if you want to connect with me on my social media handles those are all there in the description box below as well you know I hope that you know you have a blessed safe week um, whether you're watching this you know at morning afternoon evening night whatever when you ever see this is when it were guided to see that um, Please be responsible and safe for everything you do, even through social, you know, social distancing. Make sure you're giving out love, light, positivity through what, you know, kindness, words, vibes, and frequencies. Um, it can really take somebody somewhere, and just because you're doing that from a special place in your heart, it's gonna take you even further. So much love, God bless. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Namaste. Uh, shalom. I say, God bless. Peace.